Hello everyone, this is Carmine, and with the new year that means that Penzik is coming up. So I have been putting thought into um, the battery powered amp that I use for playing at Penzik. So um, what I did is I got <laughs> a couple of different ones of them and I figured I'll sell whatever I don't use and I'll um, basically do a side-by-side -side comparison using my OOD of these different amps. And I actually haven't tried doing this comparison myself, so this is my first time doing it and I don't have a script. So um, one thing that's important to uh, say is that with my OOD, I use an LR Bags Power Acoustic DI. Um, this is the most useful piece of equipment I've probably ever owned. And here's my OOD, uh, which some of you might have seen. The pickup I use is made by Pickup the World, which is an excellent company that only makes pickups for bizarre things. So um, I'm going to, I think I'll start with um, the Roland Cube Street, which is new. Look at this. I hope this is in the shot. Uh, this has an instrument input <coughs> and a microphone input, and also has an EQ on it. Um, for a treble bass and middle. It also has a ton of effects on it uh, for chorus and delay and reverb. I pretty much only use the reverb. I may use the chorus, but in a medieval setting, I'm not gonna use chorus or flanger or anything, maybe a little reverb. Um, it also has all these settings that I think are really great for an electric guitar, but don't really, aren't useful to me uh, with an acoustic guitar. <coughs> and what I'm gonna do with these amps is I'm gonna put them all at 50, percent volume uh, so you can see what the volume is like between them. Uh, this amp runs uh, can run on six AA batteries. Uh, the battery life according to Roland's website is 15 hours. I haven't tried it for that long um, but definitely lasts a bunch of hours. Um, the microcube lasts forever on batteries so I would trust Roland with uh, what they say on that so probably 15 hours. It's got two speakers and they're 2.5 watts each. Um, not a lot um, but let's give this thing a shot. I'm gonna run all the amps on batteries, not with their power, so you can hear what they would be like in real life, in fake life. <laughs> all right, let's turn the bad boy on. setting not very loud um, let me uh, for instance here's me without the amp with the amp it's not really that much louder I'm gonna turn this up a little bit volume is at say seven or eight or so. Sound so great. 
Um, of course, I'm using an oud, and a lot of these things are probably meant for electric guitars or other guitars. But um, I think this amp sounds pretty good. Um, I just don't think it's quite loud enough. Uh, it is very light. Um, but uh, let's move on. Um, I think these are about 269. All right. Now, this next amp I am super excited about. Look at this. This is a Roland AC33. It's also new. I've been using an AC60 acoustic amp for a long time, and I absolutely love the amp. If you've been to Rakasa and been to those after parties that I do, uh, with the guys, um, I use the AC60. This is AC33. This is a smaller version. It's super light. Um, this runs on 10 batteries, 10 AA, uh, no, no, eight, I'm sorry, eight AA batteries. And it says the battery life's eight hours. I haven't tried using it for eight hours yet. Um, but again, it's made by Roland. I, I would trust them on their battery stuff. <coughs> Let's put this all on middle. Now, the other amp had a ton of effects in it, chorus, flanger, all kind of stuff. Um, this amp, they made this specifically for acoustic instruments. Um, I think maybe the other ones made a little bit for electric instruments. This is made specifically for acoustic instruments. I think it sounds great. I'm putting the volume and everything on the middle. I'm turning reverb off and stuff like that. <coughs> As reverb, has chorus, um, and it has a looper built in and stuff like that, which uh, I need to practice with uh, still. But let's try this. sound like my oud sounds, just louder. So I like the sound of this for my acoustic instrument uh, better than the other roll. Um, the volume seems kind of comparable. Let's uh, turn this up a little bit. Also, very quiet. Both amps are very quiet. <laughs> which does anything. speaker, uh, this two, um, on batteries with 15 powered. <coughs> um, I think powered, it's pretty good enough for um, a small gig or something. <laughs> Part of the 
joy of being a new player. So there's the Roland AC33, I think better sounding for acoustic instruments. Uh, not the loudest uh, uh, amp, but um, it does a really good job, I think, of duplicating my sound. Or amplifying my sound? I don't know. Not getting paid to do any of this, just do it for fun. Now the next amp is my workhorse amp that I've been using a long time. And you'll see I had to move over to pick it up because it is freaking heavy. This is the Crate Limo, which has been to the war and back. Um, <clears throat> now, this amp has a rechargeable battery, and uh, now the, um, there's some pluses and minuses. The good thing about running on battery batteries is that I can just bring extra batteries with me and just replace them at any time. Especially if these amps do 15 or 8 hours, I mean I probably only need one set of batteries to last. If I perform every night for a couple of hours, I probably only need one extra set of batteries. But then I'm paying, you know, 10 bucks every time I need a new battery or something. This is a rechargeable battery, which is great, lasts at least four or five hours. I've never tried draining it the whole way. Um, um, uh, the website says this will last for eight hours. Never tried it that long. <coughs> Has a rechargeable battery, like I said. Um, so what's good is it recharges. The bad thing is if you don't have electricity available, you obviously cannot recharge it. Um, all these amps, by the way, have a microphone input and an instrument input, or you could plug two instruments into it. It does both. Uh, let me put this on middle everything. Uh, this amp has a whole bunch of effects in it. Um, I usually, like I said, would only use reverb in a medieval setting. I'm not using any reverb here. <coughs> let me just turn all these other things off. Okay, sorry. I'm going to plug it so it's running the battery, sorry. Okay, put my preamp back up. Now, if you listen, there's some noise here where the other amps were completely quiet. Um, but it's okay when I'm playing with other people, you don't really notice it. Uh, just so you know, has a rechargeable battery, you can replace it. It's a pain in the butt to open this thing up, and finding the batteries was really hard. I actually got a replacement one from this auto parts guy that I know because the battery is the same as a scooter battery or something. Um, so you can replace a rechargeable battery, but it is a pain in the butt. Uh, here we go. Great. 
I'm going to plug this into the microphone input up here and do the same down here, which I actually have not tried yet. I also just realized this whole time I'm probably just talking into my oud <laughs> instead of the camera, but okay, here we go. Now this is the crate on the volume's like on two. Already pretty loud. This is the AC33, the volume's on like halfway up. Let's try turning it up, my little friend here. <laughs> the best demonstration ever, but I figured you can make your own opinion. Um, I still I'm hoping I can use this amp um, because I do not want to bring a cart and a big heavy amp around anymore. Let me play around with the settings. Educational. Um, this is my first time demo demoing stuff like this, uh, so uh, I'll try to be shorter uh, next time or something. But anyway, uh, thank you very much. Bye.